Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Everybody's got their calculator, All right? Got your iPads loaded up, and let's get started. Now, on your test, I want everybody to look at the directions here. It says use the percent proportion or percent equation, which basically means do I care how you solve it? No. I would personally want you to do it using an equation because we are moving into algebra. Right? So bear with me on that. So I would kind of like for you to write it as an equation. All right? But if you prefer, like, you really like the is over of stuff, I'm totally fine with that. All right? But I'm going to demonstrate using an equation. All right? So, again, remember now, test on Thursday, which means I need you working through today and tomorrow as much as you can. All right? I'd like for you to work anything you don't get done in class. I'd like for you to have it done for homework. All right? So let's get started. All right? You need your calculator. On your test, I'm expecting you to write the equation, and then you can use your calculator to solve it from there. All right? So 30 is 40% of what number? So how do I write that equation? Um, I did 30 times 0.4. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 30, what does in math is? What is that? Shh. Think to yourself. 30 is equals, you with me on this, right? So it would be 30 equals, now how do I write 40%? 0. 0.4 in math of means what? Multiply. So it would be 30 equals 0.4x. You okay with that? Now what do I do to both sides? Right, you're going to divide by 0.4. Divide by 0.4. Divide by 0.4, so x is equal to 75. how much? 75. 75. Perfect. x is equal to 75. All right. Anybody have any questions or concerns with that? All right. Again, checking out question number two. All right. Again, we want to write it as an equation. All right. Hold up. What? Yes. Write the equation. So it's um, you do um, 15. Wait, no, I mean 36 equals. 36 equals. equals 50. Uh huh, and, and then, then what? And then times um, x. Yes, 50x. Now, here's how I would kind of want you to think about it. The what percent is the question or the unknown? So I really would like you to just translate it directly. So what percent would be x? Of in math always means what? And then we're going to multiply that by 50, and then we're going to set that equal to what? Then we're going to set that equal to 36. Is everybody okay with that? All right. Now, how do we undo the multiplication again? Divide. So we're going to say divide by 50. Now, again, um, I, I keep trying to tell you guys, to be better, sometimes you have to write more. All right? And some of you are good that you can kind of avoid the next step. Well, if you don't write the workout on the test and you get it wrong, I gotta mark the whole thing wrong. All right, so X is what? So we're gonna say X equals 0.72, but they're asking for a percent, so obviously 72%. All right, now I need questions, yes? I have two questions. Good for you. So my first one is, when you put 0.5, no, no, because listen to me. Listen to me. Very good question. This right here, now watch what I'm highlighting. This is not a percent. You see what I'm saying, right? Right? Okay, what's your next question? Okay, so now let's set up the equation. Again, x times 50 equals 36. That was the equation. Do you agree? I'm trying to isolate the x. If I'm trying to isolate the x, that means I'm trying to eliminate the 50. Because if I divide both sides by 50, 
then these cross out and I'm left with X is equal to 36 over 50. You understand that now? All right, any other questions or concerns on one or two? What? Um, let's do number three. Let's do number three, okay? I want you to write, I, I want the translation. Everybody should be able to do the translation. And some of you guys are asking me a uh, good question, so I'm, I'm going to help you. All right? So let's look again. I want the translation. As soon as you see what, that is the what. That's the X. Thank you. So when it says what, that's X. Is means what? Equals. How do I write 15%? 0.15 of means what? Times 28. Now, do I have to divide this problem? No, because I'm trying to show you again. It's literally telling you to multiply 0.15 times 28. Chloe, is that good for you? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And again, we're going to get a little better as we're going. All right, so the translation is the most important thing. The translation. What? What about is over? I, were you here earlier? You can do is over if you want. I just said for you, you're going into algebra next year. We should start working on what? We should start working on the equations rather than proportions. All right? But either way is fine. So somebody tell me, what does x equal? Oh, it equals 4.2. Is that right? 4.2, girls? 4.2. All right? Now, I want everybody to try to just do the answer to number four real quick. All right, no talking. Just try to do, see if you understand. You already did it? Guys, you all right? You get it? That's beautiful. Perfect. So now we're isolating the X. So if I'm trying to isolate the X, I'm going to do it. Okay, Diesel, tell me how the what the equation would be. Look up on the board. Is that what you wrote down? Sixteen equals point two five x. Do you agree with that? Now, you're the third person now. Come on, you got to look up. You're the third person now has asked or has had trouble solving for X, which means it's my fault. So, everybody, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm isolating the X. Does everybody understand what that means? I want the X to be by itself. Right now is the X by itself. No, it is not. There is an X right there, and then right next to that X is the what? is the 0.25. I can't have the 0.25 next to the x. Now, what holds the 0.25 and the x together? What operation? Multiplication does. Hear me. That's holding the 0.25 and the x together is multiplication. Right, Diesel? Now, Carly, do you agree? I need to isolate the x, which means I have to get rid of the 0.25. So, Diesel, to get rid of the 0.25, I have to do what? How do I undo multiplication? Division. I am dividing by 0.25. Dividing by 0.25. Do you hear me on this? Now, why do I do that? Because these now do what to each other? Cross out. Yes. Yes, that's another way of saying it. If there's a number next to the X, get rid of it. So now, Diesel, what's 16 divided by 0 0.25? 64. 64. Good. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Ian, you're quiet. You good? Yeah. You good? I don't care. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's good. Smart. All right, 25% is the same as 1 fourth. Okay, now number five, put a star by number five. We're going to try to work on our mental math here. All right. I would like everybody to understand 33 and one-third percent. 
what fraction is 33 and one third percent? Tell me. Yes, three ninths, which is the same as what fraction? Reduced. One third. Thank you. Exactly. Now he said three ninths. I prefer that you just automatically know that it's one third, right? So I want everybody to make sure they write that down if you didn't know that. One third times 51. That's what they're asking. All right. One third times 51. And what is one third times 51? 17. Everybody pretty good with that? All right. Let me give you a second uh, to do 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right. I want everybody to work 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right. I'm going to put it on pause for a minute. The way I did. All right. Number six. Now, again, here is something I just think th this is how you're knowing if you understand numbers. All right. When it says nine out of 43, what does that mean? Yeah, just a fraction. Nine out of 43. Nine out of 43 prefer swimming. What percent? Well, what are you going to do with 9 and 43? Divide it. So type it on your calculator. Now remember, some people are having trouble. What number do we say first? 9. So what goes in the calculator first? 9 divided by 43. So everybody do 9 divided by 43. What is that? 0.209. What's next? Three, two, three, two. All right, here we go. So we're rounding to the nearest tenth of a percent. So this would move over to here. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. So that's the same as 20.9%. What? I did like an iso three. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But I, I need you to understand. Listen to me. If you have a fraction to convert it to a decimal, all you do is divide it. See how easy that is? 9 divided by 43. Right? Then you just move the decimal two places, which is exactly what you did. Do you hear me? Even if you weren't 100% sure that you did that. You see what I'm saying? All right. Again, super important to understand this information. All right? It's always on standardized tests. Always. All right, so let's take a look at number seven. An LCD television is on sale for $500. This price is 75% of the original price. Everybody put a star by this one because most people can't do this problem. Most people can't do this. Do we know what the original price was? Yes. No. What was the original? Do we know? No. We have no idea. Does everybody agree with that? We don't know what the original price is. So if we don't know what the original price is, that would be what letter? X. X. So we're going to take X. Now we're talking about percent. What percent did we have to pay for it? We had to pay 75% of that price. And now when you pay 75%, it costs you how much money? $500. That is exactly correct. All right. Now what do I do? There you go. There you go. What is it? Does anybody agree with that? Say it again. Say it again. Try that. Everybody do 500 divided by 0.75 and see if she's correct. Is she correct? All right. Is everybody good with this? Now, well, you can't pay, you're rounding to the nearest penny when you're talking about dollars. Well, here, see, listen to me now carefully, okay? Do we know what the original price is? No, that's what the X is. To find the sale price, I multiplied it by the percent that I had to pay for it. I had to pay what? 75%. You see why that's 0.75? And then that gave me the what? The sale price. Right? That's how you need to be thinking about it. It gets a little bit harder as we're going down. So this is a, this is a good start problem.
All right, now let's read number eight. It says, a computer mouse costs $29. If a 6.25% sales tax is added, what is the total cost? So who's been paying attention that tells me what I can multiply by to do it the quickest way? Tell me. So you do X. Now, do we know what the cost of the mouse is? Yes. Yes, so that's what? 29, right? 29. Now what? Yes. But how would I do 0.625 or how would I do 6.25%? I can't um, write 6.25%. There you go. Multiply that by 0 0.0625. Now do that on the calculator for me and tell me what that number comes up to be. Look up on the board. See, because you move it two places to the left. And what is that? So one dollar and eighty one cents. And that would be just the what? That would be just the tax. So did they ask for the tax? No. They asked for the what? The total bill. Yes. And so what would the total bill be? Uh, $30.81. $30 well, what do you think I did? You took what you paid for it, and who pays the tax? Here's what you paid. Here's what the tax is. How do you think you find the total bill? What do you do with those numbers? You with me on this, right? Because you have to pay the tax and you have to pay the cost. Now, do you remember the shortcut I've been trying to teach you? What do I do? I use multiply. Oh, yay. Yeah. Right. So it's 100%. You have to pay 100% plus the tax. So that's where you get 106.25%. And 106.25% would be 1.0625. Now type that in the calculator and see if that comes up to be the same thing. Was it the same thing? Now, you with me? All right, does anybody have any questions with multiplying by 1.0625? Does that make sense? All right. Now, most people forget the formula for percent of change. Does you remember what it was? Yes, very good. The percent of increase is always the change divided by the original. All right, so what is the change from 24 to 39? 15. Does everybody agree with this? And 15 divided by the original, which is what? 24. 0.625, which is the same as, same as, thank you, 62.5%. Now, we know that that's a what? Is it an increase or a decrease? Remember what I told you, though. We're in a lot of trouble if you can't tell me if the number's going up or down, right? So I do, I, do I really care if you write increase or decrease down? No. All right, because like I said, if you can't tell me if it's an increase or decrease, we're in trouble. Okay, so 10, here we go. So I, I got a, a suit for $130. The sales tax is 7%. Now here, what are they asking for? The tax or the total cost? Yeah. They're asking for just the tax. Does everybody agree with this? So if they're asking for just the tax, what do I have to do for this problem, Jack? What would I do? So you have to do, um, what is the 130 times 130 times what? No. Times 0.07. 
Tell me, tell me why though. Tell me why. It, uh, because it's not hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Because they're only asking for what? They're only asking for the tax. They're only asking for the tax. Now, this is a good example of having to know the difference. Yeah. Right. If they're asking for the tax, these are you understanding me? You're just multiplying by the percent. If they're asking for the total, that's when you go ahead and make it quick by just saying 100% plus the tax. Carter, are you with me on this? Joseph, are you hearing me? You good? All right. So what was my answer here, somebody? Oh, $9.10. $9.10. Is that correct, girls? $9.10. All right. I'm going to pause the video for a minute. I want everybody to try... Uh, start with 11 and go down as much as you can. We'll give you like three minutes. So, Thomas, tell me what to do, please. <laughs> now, if I do 260 times 0.5, tell me what that is. 100 and, is that right, guys? 143? Yeah. However, that represents the what? That represents the discount. So listen to me, Thomas. You good with that? That represents the discount. No, just listen. All right, you're interfering today. So that's the discount. How would I find the sale price from here, Thomas? Now remember, it costs you normally costs you two hundred and sixty. Then you subtract them. Give me that. You guys are messing around today too much. Throw it right here. Messing around. All right. I'm not getting it. Yes, it would cost you $117. All right. That's what the sale price would be. That's the sale price. However, if you were thinking like I'm hoping you. Instead of doing it that method, we can just simply do what? What would be another quicker way to do that? Yeah, instead of saying I get a 55% discount, I can say I'm just going to pay what percent? 45. So now, Thomas, what I would like for you to do is I'd like for you to take 260 and multiply that by 0.45. And guess what we know? Same amount, $117. Everybody double check that, right? Well, normally you have to pay what percent? 100%. You have to pay 100% of something. But now we get it discounted 55%. So that means you only have to pay 45%. All right? No. No. Some of you boys are on lockdown. Or are you talking too much? Playing around too much. You're not going to be ready for your test. All right, get serious, then I'll maybe let you do a problem. All right, here we go. Now it says for number 12, find the selling price of a store pays $48 for paint and marks it up 65%. Layton, if I'm going to mark something up 65%, what would be the best way to do this problem? Um, you, could, you would do um 48 times 1.65. Yes, thank you very much. 48 times 1.65. Because you're going to pay 100% plus the what? 65%. Yeah. So you would sell it for how much? Uh, then the answer is $79.20. $79.20. Is everybody okay with that? Now, of course, you could multiply by 0.65 and then add it in. Oh. All right, that would be the same thing. But remember, I'm trying to get you guys to understand percentages better. You pay 100%, you mark it up 65%, so you add 100% plus 65%. What? You good? All right, no, Shh, be quiet. No, no, sit there and think about it. Join the class. What? Yes, I can. What you need? Oh, I got it. I got it. All right. Listen, I'm trying to get you to pay attention. Maybe your question is because you're not paying attention. So now, what is your question? It's the last time I'm telling you today. Well, this is the original. You hear me? 
this becomes the new price. Do you agree with that? So I have to multiply by the percent of increase. That gets you to the new price. Do you hear me on this? So you're going to multiply. So now take out your calculator and do 48 times 1.65. And there you have it. All right, 13. Now it says, I had originally priced was $28. But it's on sale for what? 15% off. What is the total cost if you had to also pay a 6.75% tax? All right, so here we go. How do I find the discount? What would I do for that? Do you, what would I do with the $28? Very good. Then I would multiply that by what? Can you tell me? No, no, no. Who's paying the tax? What do you multiply by? Close. I don't want the answer. Just listen to me. This is going to give me the discount. Now I need to figure out what the total cost is. What do I multiply by? One point what? Zero six seven five. So now in your notes, I would like for you to write down this right here represents the discount. This right here represents the total price. So I need everybody to write down 28 times 0.85 times 1.0675 rounded to the nearest penny. What would that be? $25.46. Somebody please double check him because he's always wrong. 41. Oh, 41 cents. Is he right or wrong? Everybody do it on their calculator. Everybody do 28 times 0.85 times 1.0675. Everybody's doing that. 25.41. Thank you for checking it. There's nothing I can do. Listen, if you can't type a number in on the calculator, what can I do for you? That's what I'm saying. Retype it in. 28 times 0.85 times 1.0675. I need you to understand that. What's the problem? No, I, I got that, but I didn't think it was I got that. Well, you better do it again then. 25. 0.85. Remember, normally you have to pay what percent when you go into the store? 100%, right? But they're telling you you get a what? 15% off. So if you get 15% off, you not only have to pay what? 85%. Now, on this discounted price, on this discounted price, you have to pay tax. So I have to multiply this by 1.0675. You agreeing with me? Is that making sense? In the back, making sense. All right, let's try the next one. All right, set up quickly. 14, try 14 through 17. Try to set up the equation. Come on, let's go. No talking. We're way slow today. I've got a whole bunch of problems. We're going too slow. All right, so if I'm going to write the equation, write it for 14, please. Loud and proud. 48 equals x times 80. Yes, good job, girl. Now what do I do to both sides? Divide by 80. Yay, good. Divide by 80. So x worked out to be point. 0.6, beautiful, which is the same as 60%. Thank you. Good job. Next, okay. Layton. Okay, so it would be um, 8 equals x times 40. Yeah, I, I'm not arguing with you, but I'm just going to do a straight across. You with me? So okay. what percent x times 40 equals 8? You see what I'm saying? Yes. You said the same thing, yeah. but I like to do things in the right yeah. order. Okay, so when you divided, what did you get? Um, it would be, um, I got 0.2. Which is the same as? 20%. 20%. Beautiful. But would you be okay if I did it? Like yes, I said okay. Yeah. Yosef, are you getting this answer? Yeah. Now, I'd like for you to learn how to set this equation. <laughs> 
Carmen, you're up. How do I do 16? That's 72%. Yes, because of the question, I'm, I'm listening to you, because of the question, that's X. In math, is means what? No. Write it down in your notes. Is always means equals. So now X, what's next after X? Good. How do I write 72%? Hey. 0.72 of in math means what? Of always means multiply. That's right. So now in your notes, you got to write that down. Of always means multiply. So 0.72 times 18. You may else get 12.96. Good. Carter, next. Sit up. I want to hear you. No, I'm on 17. So 14 equals X. Whoa, 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 whoa. 24% is next. Or 0.24. Yes. So now what? Now you divide 14 by 0.24. Yes. <coughs> 58. Exactly? No, it's 58. Is everybody okay with that? Anybody else get that? Yeah. All right. Good. Read 18. 15 students take the test date assignment and got their copy. Of the 250 students taking the exam, what percent forgot it? So how would I do this? Now, again, think about it now. Listen, listen again. There's lots of ways you, this is a possibility, all right? But I also like a percent is what? Part to whole. Do you remember me saying that? Percent is part to whole. So how many people forgot their calculators? Out of how many? You see what I'm saying, right? So I would prefer that you just say, well, that's just 15 out of 250, and now we're converting that into a decimal first, which is? You got a calculator right there. Point what? 15 divided by 250. Zero six. Point 0.06, which is the same as 6%. Six percent. Point zero 0.06 is the same as 6%. Any issues with that? Any issues with that? All right, number 19. Read it. What? Okay, so how would I do that? So you get um, you get nine and you do nine. Nine out of how many? Oh, nine, nine over forty-three. Yes. Does everybody see what we're getting at here? Nine out of forty-three. All right, I'm listening oh, now. What is that decimal? Which would be? Is that right, guys? About twenty point nine percent. 20.9%. says round to the nearest 10. Oh, so 21%. 20.9. 20. 20. 20. So what does it say? 20 point, you, you told me the answer was 0. 0.209. Is that exactly what it is? Okay, so then this is where I'm looking at. Is that more than 5? So it stays 20.9%. Are you guys telling me the bell's getting ready to ring? Yeah.
All right. So please try to do as much as you can, guys. Today was a slow day because we had a few comedians. We're not having any comedians tomorrow. None. Look how much work we got to do. All right. There's like 70 questions. I got lots to do, guys. Try to get as much as you can done tonight. Study some.